In today's video, we are building a $60,000 two-story autumn house in Bloxburg, and we're gonna tour it and then get right into building. So I really like this house. This was super fun to make, and it took me a while to edit, so I hope you guys like it because I included the interior with the exterior, so you don't have to click on any additional videos. Everything is in this video, so I hope you guys really like that. It took me a lot of time, and I've been a bit busy lately, so I'm sorry for taking an extra day to get this out, but I hope you still enjoy it nonetheless so as you can see we have so many pumpkins we have all different types of pumpkins <laughs> all these variations we have stacked pumpkins we have tall ones we have like short ones we have baby pumpkins pumpkin mania but i think it's awesome so this is the garage yeah we don't really care about that though that's just for your car let's just talk about the house itself like i love the colors together i love the green and the orange hue is so nice i'm happy with it and it's a great roleplay house because of the many bathrooms and bedrooms and space it has so let's just go inside and check it all out so here's a nice little entrance area front door yeah <laughs> okay so here's the interior so we step into the living room right here i actually really like this living room i think this is so cool i love the colors together i love these paintings the couch is so nice and it's really cheap and this is our fireplace i think it's super cool to have it place beneath the stairs i just think that's a really nice touch and speaking of the stairs as you can see we have a bunch of pumpkins and a box and a halloween bucket so i was thinking that could be like a storage area for halloween items that you're getting out and getting ready to set up for the season so i was thinking halloween decorations could be in that box it's a great role play idea feel free to use it yeah i like that room that's pretty nice okay so this is the kitchen so i like this room as well i really like the colors together i keep saying that i'm sorry but look at these colors look at this shade of green with the white I just think that's so pretty and then the darker shade of green as well. I love it. Of course pumpkins everywhere If you hate pumpkins, you're not gonna like this house because <laughs> I have pumpkins everywhere in like each room I'm so sorry. You guys are gonna be sick of pumpkins by the time October is even here This is also a cool like storage shelf with a bunch of like utensils and stuff I think that's a nice addition great detail. So yeah, let's go to this room Which is our first bedroom downstairs. So this bedroom is very simple, but I feel like this could be a bedroom for like a teen an older teen maybe it feels more mature to me i don't know i love these windows with the curtains they're so pretty so here's our dining room over here very simple once again but you have enough room to walk around to each seat and eat so yeah and the windows love these it's just so like bright and lively love it so this room is our first bathroom downstairs yeah it's really simple but it has all the necessary items you need at a cheap price so yeah low cost bathroom in here here two by two bathroom actually okay so oh also these paintings let's just take a moment to look at these paintings please they're just so nice and the colors and i love that they're outlined with the cloudy gray because i just think those colors look so nice together all right let's go upstairs now so this fireplace honestly might be a, a hazard hopefully that doesn't burn down like the stairs and then the entire house that would not be good so this is a little balcony kind of area you just walk out here pretty relaxing so let's go to this room which is oh gosh this is our second bathroom so so, as you can see we have this roof glitch where it like sticks through the walls i really hope we get an update to like fix that so i tried my best to cover it up using the structural item and i tried making it look like it was a shelf so i placed pumpkins on it yeah we're going to pretend like this bathroom does not exist these pumpkins are like defying gravity but that's okay we're gonna ignore them and then head on over to our second bedroom which is right over here i like this bedroom because i love the colors i use an orange lighting this room definitely feels like Halloween. Look at all these pumpkins and these pumpkin paintings and the colors, the oranges. Beautiful. Okay, so this is our final bathroom. This one's definitely a lot better than the last. So I definitely like this one better. This one can be shared with this bedroom as well as this bedroom. And this bedroom is actually my favorite bedroom. I love this. Look at this. This is a very Halloween colored like dresser. And I love this bed and the color of it. It's perfect with these windows and the curtains. I just think it looks so pretty. So And the orange light once again so nice i love it so this is probably my favorite bedroom please comment below and let me know what your favorite room is what your favorite bedroom is i think that one's mine but i do like all of them they're pretty fun to make just maybe not that bathroom but we can just ignore it okay so this is our house i hope you guys like it so we're gonna get started on building right now i am going to warn you that i didn't have much time to record so i had to record very late at night it's like 3 30 in the morning so i'm sorry if i sound really tired oh and i also got attacked by like silverfish 
fish. Yeah, so if you want to see that happen, stay till the end of the video. It was not amusing for me, but maybe it will be for you. So <laughs> we're going to get right into building right now. Let's go. Okay, so this is our layout. So this is the second floor and this is the first floor. So let's go place the walls. We're going to start two, four, five squares back and we're going to place two walls next to each other like that. We're going to color these walls light stone gray with the horizontal planks material. I want the interior walls to be mid gray because I love that color. <laughs> so we're going to copy that wall and then we're going to place one down and then two to the right and then up by two. Now we can place three across but this wall is going to be colored white with the concrete material. So copy that and then you're going to place two, four, six, seven back and then two to the left, one back or up and then two to the left, one down, two to the left, and then you can grab the horizontal plank wall and then place it down two, four, six, eight to the start. So there's the first floor exterior walls. Let's copy this concrete wall and then let's go upstairs. So we're gonna start two, four, six squares back, one back from the first floor wall, and then we're gonna place two to the right, back one, two to the right again, and then back one again. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go downstairs and copy this horizontal plank wall, and then I'm gonna go back up, and I'm gonna place three across like this, and then we're just gonna finish off the layout. So we're gonna go back two, four, five, to the left two, up one, to the left three, down three, to the left two, and then back down two, four, five to where we started so the exterior walls are all finished and i love these colors and materials together so nice aesthetic so let's place the interior walls while we're at it so we're gonna make sure that these are colored mid gray or whatever color you'd like you can use whatever so this is going to be the bedroom and then this is going to be a bathroom and this will be another bedroom so these bedrooms can share a bathroom and then there's going to be one more bathroom right here so if you don't want to share a bathroom you can use this one okay so downstairs this right here is the garage it's a big garage, so you should be able to fit your cars there. And then this is going to be the living room. The stairs will be right there. I'll get to those in one second. And this is going to be the kitchen. I have a cool design, I think hopefully and this is going to be another bedroom and this will be the dining room and then a bathroom so three bedrooms and three bathrooms in total pretty solid oh yeah the stairs we're using these modern l stairs specifically the left ones so place those right here nice okay we'll color those later so let's place the roof so we are going to start off with the slanted roof and make sure you turn on manual placement and i'm going to change grid sizes so it's easier to place so we're going to start on this wall right here and then we're going to go to the right two up one to the left two and then we're gonna increase its size like twice should be good cool now we're gonna color it dark stone gray with the brick material love this combo and then just color the sides of it to match the walls and then the ceiling color i've been using these ceiling tiles a lot lately i'm sorry this will be the last time i use them for a while i promise so copy that roof once it's placed and we're gonna go over here to the garage manual placement once again and we're gonna start on this point to the right three up two and then to the left three and then we're gonna increase its size one two to... that should be good so no more slanted roof if you're a slanted roof hater we're done with those don't worry <laughs> that was it pretty easy right so now we're on to the gable roof i love this roof i'm going to turn on manual placement again and we're going to place it over this area right here so start on this point and then go to the right two and then go back one two three and then back to the left two and i am going to like decrease <laughs> its size it is going to be as short as possible because i want to be able to see like this wall a little bit so then you just recolor it the same as the rest of the roof and now we can copy that gable roof and go upstairs basically we are going to place it on this point and then all the way back and then over two and then go all the way back again and then go over two and then go all the way down to this wall and then to the left two and then down one so we're covering this half of the roof the left half it looks great i didn't even like increase its size so we're gonna color it white with the concrete material we're gonna match the wall so copy that roof one more time and we're gonna place it over here so starting in this corner and then we're gonna go to the left four times you can turn off the roof to see a bit better and then we're gonna go up to and then back to the right by four this is kind of just for like looks like appearance you know i think i raised it up like twice yeah this is basically just for looks just to make it look nice there's like still a hole over here <laughs> to prevent the rainfall from drowning us while we're sleeping we're gonna cover this with the flat roof and save that extra cash save that like 50 bucks look at that wonderful so we're gonna place the pillars because 
these. Those are easy, right? We're gonna use the plain pillars, of course. Color them white with the smooth plastic and then place them in each corner. Go ahead and do that. Super easy, nice little break. Take a breather. Okay, for now, I only place them on the exterior walls. I'll place them inside once we get to that. I'm just a little lazy. I wanna finish the exterior, so let's place some windows down. We're gonna use the factory windows and we're gonna place one over here. Oh, you can see our stairs. We're gonna color it white with the smooth plastic and then we're gonna give it an orange hue. Look at that glow, perfect for autumn. So I'm gonna give it shutters. I'm gonna use the classic shutters and I'm gonna color it flint with the smooth plastic outline it with cloudy gray love those colors together so we're gonna copy that window place one here one on this wall and then we're gonna place two over here like that so nice so we're gonna grab the doors now so i wanted to use this traditional front door outline it in white color it with flint and then color the handles just white lovely and the garage door i love this arched garage door it is so nice so we're gonna color the same as the front door of course and that's it guys i'm so sorry for my voice again it is like definitely breaking <laughs> i really have to stop like recording so late when nobody's awake i'm like nocturnal i think okay so for the watch room i wanted to use the flat crown molding and just place that obviously on each wall and for the bottom wall trim i want to use a tall flat baseboard and then obviously just place those on the bottom floor walls those are the the only walls that you're gonna see them on okay it looks great already before we start landscaping i want to do something cool over here so we're gonna grab a pillar we're gonna use this plain wide pillar we're gonna start two four six squares back place one right here and then we're gonna color it oyster with this slate material and then we're gonna place one right next to it we'll like even those out in a second so now i'm going to place a roof down this flat roof I'm gonna place it down like this, going back to, to the right one, and then back down two. And we're gonna have to color it waster with the slate material. You don't have to color the top of it though. So then we're gonna grab a chimney. We're gonna use this large stone chimney and we're going to just make it sideways like this. And you can like push it up against the wall. Okay, so now I'm just going to move these pillars over just a little bit. And then I'm going to place one more right here just so we kind of cover that up. Okay, now I'm going to color the chimney oyster with the slate material. And then I'm going to color this part flint. And that is it. So I thought that was a cool detail. We can cover up this empty space like later with some plants and pumpkins. Okay, so before we do that, we have to place down the floor for the walkway and the driveway. So let's do that. And we're obviously going to color it concrete. And I have been doing this often in my autumn homes so i place a floor down on the grass and then i color it grime with the mowed grass material i just think that adds a lot to the build and then i'm also going to outline this walkway with like the plain white short fence and then obviously the driveway and then like one right here and up oh, i gotta move myself over one right here i want to place a fence so i am thinking of placing the small hedge and coloring it i think grime and then we're going to alternate this fence with the picket fence and i'm going to color that white and then we're just going to alternate the two just like this and then we're gonna do the same design over here so fun and easy i am like so concentrated right now <laughs> nice okay now it is time to have fun and decorate with pumpkins yay so we're definitely placing some at the front door and we even have like the baby pumpkins oh my gosh i love those pumpkins it is almost time to go pumpkin picking i'm going to buy 10 baby pumpkins and then i'm going to just I don't even know what I'm gonna do with them. I have no reason to buy that many, but I'm going to buy them. All right, so basically what I'm gonna do to decorate is just what I said, place pumpkins around. Oh, these pumpkins are pretty nice. These are like tabletop pumpkins, but we're gonna pretend that they're also like growing from the ground maybe. And I think what I'm gonna do with these is place like a plant behind them. So it looks a bit more like natural. Like I didn't place artificial pumpkins on my lawn and pretend like they're actually growing. <laughs> that would be kind of sad. And then a plant over here. I did this in my last autumn build. I used a blossoming bush with this plant and then i just recolored it to an orange i'm placing a pumpkin right here yeah that is great and then pieces of grass just feel natural like i don't have to explain myself grass is grass i might be like sleep deprived right now just a warning look at this stack of pumpkins i have okay we definitely don't need more pumpkins i think we have enough but i did say that i was going to place a few over here to cover this empty space up let me place a tall one back here and then we will go inside yay <laughs> that looks so stupid and oh before we go inside one more thing actually wait no like maybe two more things stepping stones these square stepping stones i'd like to color them white with the brick material and then place two 
one, two, one, two, one, two, and then a welcome mat. We're gonna color that flint. Oh, I totally forgot about this side. Oops, I always do that. I always forget that there's like another half of my yard to decorate. Okay, you know what? I think we're gonna place a tree, this like rough cypress. Okay, but we're gonna color it dark orange. Look at that. Bang. That is a great autumn tree with an autumn flower bush and then a pumpkin. I like it. Back to what I was saying though, we're gonna place these stepping stones. <laughs> I think we only need like one and then place them like every other line i guess that's fine but i did want to place a light out here this outdoor wall lamp like over here color it linen and then we could even add a doorbell if you like great role play addition i was gonna go to structural and i was thinking of placing like this standard square beam make sure custom placement is on and then place it going down from the roof like this and then we're gonna place it on like an angle it is kind of annoying to place sometimes so it might take a bit but i kind of wanted to do it on each roof you don't have to do this if you don't want to so i will see you when i'm finished with this yeah i think that definitely adds a lot more to the build okay i like it so we are going to work on the interior now yay let's go okay so first we're gonna place the floor down i'm not gonna place it in each room i'm basically gonna skip the bathroom and the garage the garage is literally just gonna be concrete i really don't care about the garage but the bathroom i love using like marble or tiles so we'll see what we want to do then i have to place the pillars <laughs> because I didn't do that, remember, from earlier. I want to color the floor, like, a brown, I think. I think we could use, like, pine cone with maybe the vertical planks material. Love that. I feel like that's a really great fall color and texture, so we could also place the wall trim from the exterior, the flat crown molding, and then just place that on literally each wall, including the second floor walls, and we can even reuse the tall flat baseboard from outside, and then obviously place those on each wall. So I would not place the wall trim on this wall because that's gonna be the door okay so i am going to color this staircase and we're gonna use obviously the pine cone i guess we'll go with white to kind of match the pillars so i'm gonna copy this floor and then go upstairs and place it around this hallway right here so just like this and then the ceiling colors of course white with the ceiling tiles and then i'm gonna place the floor again in this bedroom right here and this bedroom and then just basic floor for the bathrooms we'll get to the textures once we reach those and this is actually going to be a balcony for like this bedroom so i'm thinking of coloring it this wood deck tile material with like a darker shade of brown i think oh and i forgot the pillars up here so i'll be right back so we have like a welcome mat outside so i'm probably not gonna place one inside i'll just place like a hat stand and color it like we're gonna use cloudy gray and and flint in this build as you can probably tell and then like a pumpkin so let's work on the living room i'm so excited for this room i have a cool idea maybe it's a fire hazard though okay so we're gonna grab this traditional fireplace so fancy place that like beneath the stairs i'll probably color it like flint i want to give it like an orange color that's really nice and obviously it makes sense for an autumn house so now i'll just decorate like the mantle a pumpkin and some books yeah like i said before we're using the greens maybe like some orange i will even place a tv i'm gonna have to move the pumpkin over a bit so the tv doesn't like protrude through the stairs so the pumpkin can go on this side and i'll place the books on the table or something i'll place them somewhere else now let's grab this outlined round carpet and we're placing that right in front of the fireplace let's give it like the cozy fabric texture because I just think that looks really nice and cozy. <laughs> and let's grab this like stylish sofa. I love this. I use it a lot. And then we can place that right here. And then we're going to color it, I think, flint. And should we do like an orange? I kind of want to. I think we're going to go for it. So there's like an empty space under here. We can fill this in with a box. Oh, did not know we had a new box. Kind of like a storage thing. And some pumpkins. <laughs> so true. I'm just going to place a bunch of halloween decorations down here because maybe these are like your halloween decorations that you're getting out and getting ready to set up for the season you know so this actually makes like sense we could even place a cobweb and then just like color it white spooky okay we won't do too much though because it's not halloween yet we're gonna pace ourselves guys okay so we're gonna place a window but we're gonna get rid of like the shutters that looks kind of cool and then i'm thinking of like a painting we color it like cloudy gray over here we are going to be placing 
using a plain door frame so this wall is going to be completely empty which means we can place like a painting right here we can place a clock that way this will take up like all that empty space i'm also going to place down a shelf above the painting color it white oh and then we could place those books right here on the shelf that is perfect pretty nice so far but we definitely need some light so i'm thinking of placing this table i would like to use linen with the wood grain material so i'm going to place like a candle here and i'll use linen that's pretty much it so far this is pretty nice that was really easy and simple to make so let's move on to the kitchen which is right here so we're gonna take out some counters i would like to use the shaker counters i kind of like this style so i'm gonna place one over here so i would love to color the countertop white and then cloudy gray and then white handles i think that looks so pretty and in the center i'm gonna place the stove of course i think we're gonna color it like flint and I'm moving this counter over a bit and then I'm gonna place a fridge because I kind of forgot about that. So here's a fridge. Wow. Now I'm gonna go and grab the island for this set and then place it there and we're gonna need to grab a chair. So we're gonna use this stool, color it like flint and that's pretty much it. I kind of like it so far. So we're gonna need the tall shaker cabinets to match with the counters, of course. Wow, that green is just so pretty, I think. The color green, I think it's so pretty. I like wear a lot of green. I just think it also goes well with blonde hair so yeah it's just a very pretty color i'm gonna also copy this window and place it here and then here oh, i like that in like corners of the kitchen and then i'm gonna copy this oh, shelf i keep gasping it's not that amazing <laughs> um and then place that like above the stove and then we can place appliances like this slender some books like i imagine these to be cookbooks cloudy gray flint white and orange we definitely need a pumpkin so now we can basically just decorate so i'm gonna grab like utensils and stuff and then of course place down any other appliances you'd like to use so i would suggest toaster and a coffee maker if you drink coffee i mean a lot of you probably don't i mean i know i don't i don't really like it but if you'd like to role play it's probably a nice addition also a microwave that's pretty important now i know everyone is gonna get mad at me if i don't place a sink i guess we'll place that over here and then we can place like a towel on this wall dry your hands with that color it orange it's like a fall themed towel and then we need soap my mom always buys like the fall <laughs> and halloween themed towels and soaps it like always drives me crazy <laughs> That's pretty nice. It's kind of empty over here. So I'm gonna grab like spice racks. These take up like a lot of empty space. They're great to use. You can just place a few. Kind of a cheat, not really. And in this corner, we'll place a pumpkin. Perfect. We do need light. How about a chandelier? Yeah, in an autumn home, kind of makes sense because it's like close to Halloween. I insinuate chandeliers with like Halloween because haunted mansions, like Luigi's Mansion, you know what's up. I feel like that would work. On this island, I'm gonna grab a plate. Can like hardly see that though and a pumpkin the wall i'm probably gonna place a bunch of different like paintings because it is too empty like this is not good we're gonna color one white we'll color one flint i guess that could work and then maybe we'll just place this painting like behind these this kitchen can just have a lot of stuff i guess i do think a rod right here would look really nice maybe with the fridge so we're placing a door frame right here because this is going to be the dining table so we can work on that now i was thinking of using this round table right here i like to color it like maybe marble with like a cloudy gray and then the chairs that we use these like rustic chairs maybe they're colored like linen and like plaid that's a fall thing yeah i'll change the colors to like flint maybe that looks better i am going to steal that candle from the living room stealing those windows we'll place like oh i kind of like that place a window like this <gasps> that's pretty cool okay in this corner i'm basically just gonna place like a plant or two because i don't really know what else to do <laughs> And plants are kind of like a must. Even in fall homes, you have to place some plants. Of course, we're gonna be placing our pumpkins. So I'll probably do that over here. I also have like the stack of pumpkins. Yes. Should I place curtains down? I don't think I've placed curtains down in like a thousand years. Like I should probably start doing that again. Can we do cloudy gray? Is that like acceptable? I guess it looks nice. Okay, and lucky enough for us, we're gonna grab this traditional door and we're placing that over here because this is the bathroom. Yeah, let me just grab like a painting over here because there's nothing over here. Real quick, I want to place a carpet under this table. I kind of feel like 
there is not enough. <laughs> I don't really know like what more you need in a dining room. You're just there to eat. Like, I don't really think you need much. Okay, bathroom time. We're gonna color the floor, I think, white with these rectangular tiles. Love those. We are going to place this basic shower set and we're using this modern bowl sink. And then we're gonna place the toilet right over here, kind of like in front of the shower. I'm just gonna grab a towel and the soap from the kitchen. And I wanna use this like light up mirror. It gives us some extra light in here as well. And look at how cool it looks. Of course, grab your toilet paper and the trash can. And I wanna recolor this shower like a lighter gray. And we're placing a fence here. Just gonna like, I don't know, give some privacy. So everyone is gonna be super mad, but I am placing windows. They take up space, so you save some money so think of it like that. All right, we're done with this bathroom. With that, we should be like all done with the first- oh my gosh. I was gonna say we're done with the first floor and then I forgot that there's a bedroom. So I guess we can just make the door over here. I was going to place it like through the garage, but I guess it is kind of a pain. So we'll just do that. It's easier. I'd like to use this industrial single bed, place it there, and then let's color it like cloudy gray and then like a white and I guess the linen with like the wood grain. Now we're gonna need a table. So how about this nightstand? So we need a pumpkin and we need an alarm clock. Oh, we could place like these windows. We're gonna have to change the curtain color though. Um, I feel like white is pretty. I am copying that shelf from the living room and we'll just grab like a plant so easy guys we love our pumpkins all right so we kind of need like a dresser <laughs> that's like kind of important you know just slightly using the linen with the wood grain this time we'll place like paper and then we could place like a mirror on the top of the dresser makeup pumpkin <laughs> painting and i would love to use vanity lights these are probably one of my favorite blocks for lights i love these in this corner if you guessed we are going to be placing plants and pumpkins very easy lots of pumpkins we do need light in here though we really do i'm thinking like a lamp how bad would it be if we use this? This one's like really ugly, no offense to anyone who likes this. Um, there's a silverfish crawling nearby too. Link plushie. It's okay, Link, I saved you. Let's grab a painting. This is really easy to make, I think. Now we are finished with the first floor. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna copy this door and we're gonna go upstairs with it. So we're gonna place one over here, one there, and then one there. Now we need a fence real quick, like this railing just to kind of block that off. I'm also gonna go downstairs and grab these windows because we're gonna use them. Also, I think we might use them over here. Okay, so let's get started on this bathroom and I think I'm just gonna color the floor the same as that bathroom. Yeah, I'm sorry about this roof. There's like no way of fixing that. So we can place like a bathtub and try our best to ignore it. I'll decorate it. I'll show you guys what I mean. I'll try my best to like make it look natural, but I really hope we get like an update sooner than later <laughs> that can fix that issue because we're not gonna lie. It just does not look nice. I am going to copy the sink from downstairs. I promise I'll use a different sink in the other bathroom. We just have to use it for this bathroom because of this. I'm gonna go to structural. I'm grabbing this standard square beam again. I'm gonna place it going along this roof color it white same thing on this thing <laughs> yeah that is not looking the best um you guys see where i'm going with this um the pumpkins are just like standing upright they're not even falling down i don't think that is how gravity works that looks like really weird i'm gonna gaslight myself into thinking that it looks like a shelf speaking of shelves i am stealing one again and then this time we'll add like extra soap not terrible let's grab like a big mirror because that's like totally gonna make up for this mess oh and we should probably like grab a candle i think we'll invest in that <laughs> you know what i think we kind of fixed it slightly maybe all right we're never going back to that room so let's move on to this bedroom and pretend that room does not exist okay so this time i'm gonna go for this modern single bed we're gonna place that right over here once again we're using that linen and then i kind of want to change it up and go for a light orange maybe this could be like kids room so maybe that's why it's more colorful okay and the storage let's do this like industrial dresser we're gonna go with that linen again and as you probably could guess pumpkins oh my lord there is a silverfish on my guys the silverfish from before came back dude i'm not kidding that just happened and it's 
3 30 in the morning i'm gonna have to take a little break i'll be right back okay so i kind of just flung it off me i have no idea where it is yeah that wasn't that was not fun that was not cool all right moving on we're gonna grab a carpet <laughs> we're also going to place a table over here nightstand this is like fancy what do you guys place on your nightstands like i don't i don't even know um we're gonna do like i guess perfume because i have that on my nightstand oh my gosh you can color that line oh wow i never knew that all right we're grabbing those windows from before what we're gonna do over here is grab like a door frame to the bathroom which will be much better than the other one now i'm probably just gonna place like a bookshelf over here throw in some of the books that we were using from downstairs now i would like to place another painting hopefully this looks good that silverfish messed me up pumpkin string lights look at that all right let's work on the bathroom now so i think I'm gonna use diagonal bordered marble tile things. I don't know what else it said, it got cut off. This time, let's place this like rounded shower in this corner. We'll color it like white so it matches that pillar. We can give it like an orange glow. Toilet over here. We'll do this sink. We'll change it up now. We we'll use that. And now all we have to do is just place toilet paper, trash can, towels, and soap. Pretty easy. Go ahead and place those everywhere. We also have to color this just a little bit. I'll probably just use like white and linen. I hope it's not annoying that I'm using the same soap. It just saves money because you don't have to place a different soap bottle and then recolor it. So, and you know what I'm doing. A window. Let's grab like a basic mirror. And I think I'm also going to place the door frame right here. So this bedroom can share this bathroom with this bedroom. We really need light. So let me grab this, whatever this is. Maybe we should place that like too close to the shower. I feel like that could be hazardous. Ooh, let's color it orange. I think I'm also going to take that and place it in this bedroom because it's kind of dark. This is our final room. <gasps> our final room. We did it. We survived the silverfish attack. Okay, let's finish it off strong. I feel like this transitional like single bed feels like a very fall type bed. I think it's the design right here that makes it like appear that way to me. I would like to place it in this corner and we're going to color it white. <gasps> Wait, it's actually colored like perfectly okay we're gonna leave it i'm thinking windows again so we can place like the closet over here i'm using the industrial closet shirt and pants and then we'll color it like the linen white and then oh we're doing orange and should we do flint that looks cool i'm thinking of placing a desk over here because we have like enough room we can move this door over yeah this is kind of cool stool from downstairs from the kitchen perfect paper pens pumpkins more pumpkins maybe too many pumpkins place a candle i want to color it like orange oh my gosh that is so pretty a window oh this room is really nice grabbing that shelf again yeah i kind of like this room let me grab a carpet i'm happy with this room okay so over here i'm grabbing this sliding glass door so you can actually delete that wall trim get some money back okay let's recolor this and then we're just gonna place that same deck railing and that's it just a nice little balcony probably some pumpkins in like the corners around here because it's just a bit empty Empty. also some plants oh and these stackable pumpkins we need these fill in that like space let's give it a tree and a pumpkin again oh my gosh you guys are gonna be sick of pumpkins by the time september ends because of me yeah i'm basically just placing like paintings and stuff just filling in this empty space because there's like a chimney out here we can't really place windows downstairs really really quick we gotta place a door right here for the garage so we can just take up that empty space and then over here i'm gonna throw in a mirror i'm gonna fill this area in with this like shelf rack thing okay because you can store like food and stuff on this pots and pans which i'm going to actually do so it's actually great for like a kitchen some forks to stab the silverfish with i think that's a nice addition of course we could place pumpkins on top okay so now we are officially done with this build so let's take a look at it from an aerial view so this is the second floor and here's the first floor i am actually pretty happy with this build this was like so much fun to make aside from being attacked by a silverfish. Yeah, I think this is actually really nice. So I like it and I hope you all do as well. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know your thoughts on this build in the comments below. I will see you guys in my next video and I hope you have a great day free of silverfish. Love you guys. Bye.